Hello, it's Mr. O'Mara here, and I'm actually here with Mrs. Walsh, and we are talking about narrative writing, and particularly how you can kind of use a photo to structure a story around, and a really good way to do that is by um, asking some questions about the photo. Now, it actually doesn't matter whether you already know about the photo or whether you took the photo, but you need to take these, you need to frame these questions from the point of view of somebody who doesn't know everything around it. So I picked this photo, which I thought was kind of interesting. So here it is. Here's my first question. Number one, I'll start first if that's okay with you, Mrs. Walsh. So, um, number one is, where in the world is this? Because that obviously over to the left, it's really different to over on the right. And I don't know, so I guess my first question in the world is, where is it? Um, I think it's an English-speaking part of the world because there's the Janeiro, but you know what, that could be Spanish or something. Um... Is it in the United States is my second question because people are driving on that side of the road. Um, my third question, and this is a bit of a prediction, is... Oh, sorry, I'm just... Yep, yep, Mrs Walsh is with me on this. Is, is this perhaps Germany? Because Germany is divided by a fence. And my third question is, why is there a fence? Um, my fourth question is, what is that on the left-hand side? You know, is that a military base? Is it a school? So I've got five questions. Uh, I'll just turn to my colleague here and see if she's going to throw in a another question, but she's nodding furiously. We're still actually hammering out the agreement here with her agent, who's, who's holding out for a percentage that I'm just not particularly happy with. So I've got my 10... Um, so my next question is, are there any breaks in the fence? Because I certainly can't see any breaks in the fence here. Uh, my next question is what language to speak, people speak in this part of the world, because I'm not sure that it is uh, an English-speaking part of the world now that I think of it. Um, my next question could be, what time of day is it? Uh, I don't know if I've got to 10 questions yet. I guess, is that a building site down to the left? I think it probably is, like that. those stone pipes look like a building site. Um, and my last question, because I actually do know um, what's going on here, is, is this a national boundary? You know, is it one country on one side and one on the other? And if so, what country is on the right and what country is on the left? So I think I've got my 10 questions, but when you do this, you need to really interrogate your image, don't you think, Mrs Walsh? Yeah, she's nodding furiously. Um, and, and write down 10 intelligent questions as whole sentences. So that's how you do it.